Are you struggling with productivity? Do you have to-do lists and, and notes all over the place? And by the time you figure out what you're doing for the day, half the day's gone by, or maybe you have different activities on different lists and different notes and, and you don't even know where to begin. Oh, you've tried Excel, you've tried OneNote, you've tried calendars on your phone and none of it seems to be working. Well, today I'm gonna to show you a very simple tool that you can use on your desktop and you can use on your mobile device. So you can integrate the two, take it with you everywhere you go, because that's the key. If you're a busy person, then you need to have that schedule in front of you. And I'm gonna show you this simple tool today and hopefully it'll be the solution that you're looking for. And my name is Vanessa and welcome to my channel. On my channel, I will show you how to create an income generating business with affiliate marketing using YouTube for your business. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, and every Tuesday and Friday, I have a new video that comes out 9 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you hit the notification bell and that will just notify you when these new videos come out so that you can be on top of things. And please, anytime you have a question or if there's something that you want to learn about, put it down there in the comments and I'm happy to share information. If I don't have a video or I'm not interested or have knowledge in that area, then I will definitely lead you to somebody else that does or make the video for you. Today, we're gonna learn how to organize your business, how to integrate and organize your life and possibly organize your team if you happen to have one. Even if you're only working with one or two people in your business, you're still new and you've only hired one person or two people, that's fine. But there is a way to organize so that you can all have a place to go and know who's doing what and be on top of everyone. Everything's in this one-stop shop. So let's go ahead and get started. The tool that I want to show you today is called Trello. And you might say, oh, I've heard about that. Go into Trello.com, www.trello.com. And I think the reason a lot of people don't use it is because they don't understand how easy it is or, and they start hearing about these boards and these cards and these lists and it's confusing if you don't really understand what they are so my goal for you today is to show you what trello can do how you can use it effectively in your life and show you the simple features now i do have another video that i've made that shows you how to set it up so for today don't take any notes worrying about how to set it up and, and all the features and things like that i want to show you what it can do to help you be organized. That's my goal. So just kind of relax, get a cup of coffee and just think, okay, is this something I can do? Is this for me? And it's free. I want to point that out. Um, there is a link below that you can go directly to or just type in www.trello.com. It is a free tool for everyone. All right. So I went in and when you come in, you're going to hit, um, you're going to see the main page that's going to look like this. right here. So this is my demo account actually that I've created. Um, and it's going to say down here, you can create your own board. Um, just scroll to the bottom and it says create board right here. Now I did not create a board. Um, I'm not going to go through those steps. I've got one right here, personal and work goals. So one of the things I want to go over is how to organize your business. So we're going to go down here to the one that says work board. Okay. And on the work board, you might have things like, this is my business, I do videos, I do blogs, and this is how I would set up a board just for me, because these are tasks that I need to do. Now the board itself, think of it as the calendar, it's the big book, okay? Um, and this is the board, that's where I went in and I named it my work board, or I can name it my daily activities or my weekly goals or something like that. I do videos, so now I'm gonna make cards. Each card, think of the, okay, think of an index card box, that would be your board, and each card in the box is your, um, your main topics. Like I have videos that I make, I have blogs, I might have my newsletter um, that I need to keep up with. Um, I didn't spell that right. So I'm gonna keep on adding um, these boards. Okay. So each time I'm our cards, I apologize. These are cards that I'm adding. Each card tells me exactly what the different activities are that I need to do. I might spend time on social media. And so I might just call this one social media. That's something else I would do in my business. And you get the idea. Okay. Now within each card, 
there's a list. What are my to do things that I have to do with my videos? I might name um, my video for Tuesday and I might put the name on there and then I'm going to add that on the, as a list. So anytime I want to go back and work on that, I can open it up and here's all the um, activities that I need to do. So I might say, um, I might list here in the description what the video is about, what are, maybe I'll have a checklist that I keep track of, and then I can stay on top of it. And once it's uploaded, maybe on my card um, or on my list, I can just cross it off, okay? If you are really involved in just videos, then your whole board might be every card is a different video and every card has a list of activities. Does that make sense? So this is where you need to really decide what am I going to use my board for? And you can have lots of different boards. I could have a board for every one of these activities, which might make more sense because there's a lot involved. Like I, my blogs, I might have 15 blogs that, that are in process and they can all be on that whole board and they can each have a different card and then a to-do list for each one. Cause there's a lot of different steps that have to be um, processed throughout the thing. Then I might have just a simple board like this where I have daily work. So I might even separate my work by the day. I might say every Monday, these are the things that I want to do. Every Tuesday, these are the things that I want to do. So I'm not trying to confuse you as much as saying you've got to think in your head, what, what is a way that I can organize what I do that makes sense for me. And that's what I really love about this, that it can be manipulated to fit the needs of each person where some of these different, um, organization tools, they tell you how to organize and it just might not be the way you think. I mean, I've worked with people who are extremely, I'm going to use the term lightly OCD, meaning they're very, very, um, and I say that in a positive way, very, very on top of things and everything is m methodical and very organized. And I admire people like that because I want to be that way, but sometimes I tend to go off on tangents all over the place. So you have to think about your style and how these cards will work for you. Okay. So that's how you can use it to organize your business. All right. So now let's look at another card. Um, how you can organize your life. And I think this board is going to be the most crucial. I have it here called personal and work goals. Okay. Um, this is an example. The, these are probably more for people like me that have 10 million things going on at once. And I need to see everything in one place. And actually I started doing this years ago when I was homeschooling my two youngest children. They're both now married with children, but I remember I was trying to work a job. I was working online as a school teacher. I was homeschooling them and they had activities. I had my schedule. And I remember when I, when life started to get busy, when your kids start to get in those preteen years and you feel like you're going um, busy running them to different events and things like that. I remember thinking, I remember putting each one of us on a different calendar and looking at all three of them, which was crazy, but that's how I started out. And then I thought, oh, wait a minute, let me put everybody on one calendar and each person have a different color ink on the calendar. And then I could see everything in one stop shop. This I was not aware of back when I was um, doing that, but I definitely would have used something like this instead. And you can make a card. Each one of these are your index cards, okay? You can make one for your personal life. Maybe maybe you have um, different things that you need to get done at, in the household. Maybe there's projects that need to be done. So maybe you can have an ongoing to-do list or a project list as a card. Maybe another card could be your to-do list for your work. Um, Maybe the other one, instead of just saying school, maybe you're in school, maybe there's things that you have that are due, or maybe you have one card for each child. So it's your social um, schedule. You know, maybe you and your spouse want to go out um, and, and have different things. I know I have a group of friends that we get together once. We used to get together once a month. I think now it's once every three months. That's how busy everyone's gotten. But there's three couples that get together and we rotate at the different houses. So I would want to list that on here. Whose turn is it in what month and who's bringing what? And we just have like a pitch in with food and get together. 
Um, blog is over here. Maybe that is your main staple of your business. Like I said, I don't know if you have four or five streams of income or if you're just working on one. I have more than one stream of income, so I would put my job at this point in my life separate on a different board because I need that um, to be separate. And right now in my life, I don't have children at home and I'm not worried about those schedules. But I know many people that are trying to build a business online, you're still raising your children and you still have all that going on. It's a very, 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 very busy time of your life. And I wanna just put a little tip in there, enjoy it. it. Like right now when you're in the middle of it, sometimes you wanna pull your hair out and you think I never have any time for myself, but enjoy it because the time will go fast and take it from someone who's already beyond that. And believe me, I was constantly just rushing from one thing to another. Slow down and enjoy it. Let your business grow slow and be there to watch your kids grow up because this will be here and, and it'll keep growing. And whether it grows fast or whether it grows slow, it's okay, really. You you have to be realistic about where you put your time. Um, so I just want to put that little plug in there for you. So that's how you can integrate everything. I want to ask you right now, are there any questions that you have as you're watching? Um, any, any questions that you might have, like how to organize? Like maybe share some um, things that you're not sure how you would fit it in and we can all jump in in the comments and help you come up with something or I'll make another video, okay, to help you out. Now, how, how can you organize a team? What if you had someone working for you? Like um, it's so exciting when you get to that point when you hire your first person and i actually have hired someone to help um, write my blogs they actually take my video they get it transcribed so they're taking my words and editing into a blog i could do that but i just don't have time so i'm so so excited that i've been able to hire someone to do that now i could make a trello board to for that person invite them to come in and be a member of the board and together we can have let's see my work board i could um oh this is that i want the team board let me go back uh team organize a team how's that so on this page um for me i just have one person working for me but i might add a uh, something for them and it might say blogs for August okay and what I could do is say okay on this board um, on this card <laughs> I see even I do that I have to think of index cards that just helps me and then I have a list of things for them to do on the card now when I real quick before I go back to this when I first started out using Trello I got confused all the time board card list remember it's an alphabetical order board card list I hope that helps but I re I just called it the wrong thing um, and I still am you notice that but here's a card and I can say these are blogs for August and on each I can start making a list I can say I'm just going to call it number one and I'm going to add okay and see how I keep adding here's number two and so I can have all of the different videos listed. I could have the title there. And then when you open up the card, when you open it, this is where you're going to make a list of everything. But in here, I could say I could already have a checklist in there. Um, I could make a different step for the checklist, or I could have the checklist in here. And when the person doing the blog comes in, they can say everything's been done. And they could even um, over here, it might say completed um, blogs. And maybe they could take this, oops, I'm gonna add that. They could take this one video and move it over here and say, okay, it's completed. Um, or maybe, okay, we could move this over here. Okay, see how neat? You can just move things around. So as you're thinking and as you're developing, you can move things and you can change things and make it work for you. It's better than writing on a piece of paper because when you're writing on that piece of paper or you're writing in Excel or something, it's nice. I use Excel for things and I love Excel, don't get me wrong. But what I love about this is I can move my thoughts around and get them organized so that they flow and they make sense. And so here, number um, two might be in process. Okay, maybe there's that checklist in there. And then over here, we're still working on number three. Or I could have the date for the, the different um, 
the different blogs or anything like that. Later, um, maybe once all the August ones are done, we could just say, hey, these are done. Let's um, start all over for the for September or make another new card for September or something like that. OK, so hopefully that helps you so that you can see how you can use Trello effectively and you can use it on your app. Just go under your apps uh, on your phone and upload that app and you can use this interchangeably and they connect so that it's always there and always available. You can use it, go back to your children. Maybe you have certain, maybe your children are older and they have more responsibility in the house. You can share a board with your kids. You can share a board with your spouse. You can share a board with a friend. You can have several boards in there. So if it, that makes more sense to you to have things in their own pocket instead of all together in one stop shop, you can do it either way, whatever works better for you. Some of us want everything to be visible and some of us want things tucked away into files and you can do it either way and that is exactly what I love about this and again moving these different items over one at a time is just like crossing things off and saying that's finished and maybe your last one can be you know here's the completed blogs for July I can have another one say completed blogs for September and we can keep them off to the side so that we know what we're doing so okay Hopefully that was helpful to you. Make sure you look down below. There is a link that says www.trello.com. And like I said, it is free. The app is free. There's no affiliate link or anything tied to that. Now, if you haven't decided on a business, you heard me say that I use my channel to help people create an income generating business for affiliate marketing. I do have a free ebook that I created. It's like 40 pages long. I tried to put everything into four steps. Um, it's to give you a broad overview of what you need to do to get started with affiliate marketing and create a business with affiliate marketing. Yes, you can add affiliate marketing to a business that's already there, but if you don't know what business you want and you're not sure what you want to do, affiliate marketing is probably the easiest thing to get started with. All right. So get my free ebook. There's four steps that I've put together for you to help you lay it out and be more organized so that you can see what it takes to create that business. Now, don't forget, I also have free, um, not free. I also have one-on-one -on -one coaching that's available. There's a link right below that. I am taking some applications. I don't take a lot of people at a time because I am still working as, as of this video as an online teacher right now. I have a little bit of time to take on a couple more people because um, it is summer. <laughs> um right now today um you will find out if you apply if i'm full you'll get an email and let you know but i am limited like i said because i am still doing more than just one thing um be sure before we go that you like comment subscribe to my video let me know how you liked it let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe Thank you for watching. If you got to this point, I do have a couple videos above that you can watch that will help you to grow your business. And I'll see you on the next video.